success broke at midnight at a pace so gruelingly subtle the human eye had to fix on something to witness progress. It was the culmination of a day's worth of will of crews, both foreign and domestic, tying off lines, welding in supports, climbing from Norwegian ship Pacific Dawn to barge to deep draft dock in winds that flung flags full sail and a single tide that raised all vessels 28 feet. Anticipation, caution, were worn on the faces of supervisors and crew in each passing second as they strained to catch a first glimpse of what felt like King Kong rising out of a foreign ship's hold at Port Mackenzie, Alaska. In the glow of ship lights near the dawn of a new day, it became visible. Twenty tons of continuous cable wrapped in circles for 3.4 miles on a giant spool the size of a house. And there's two on board. Offloading the massive weight from ship to barge tonight would require a symphony of logistics between two operators in pedestal cranes on board operating the cranes at their working limit in tandem and a first mate on deck who moved nimbly near cargo that could crush him flat. The 50-foot wide ship would roll if it were not for a pontoon flooded with water on the other side to counterbalance the heavy load traveling 40 feet overboard. The weight of the giant spool is dispersed in what looks like a kid's mobile of the planets, except the strings and wooden pieces are spreader beams and steel rigging. All were alert, on guard, for the worst-case scenario of snapping cables and cranes pounding the dock. But none of this came close to occurring. The crew picked it, as they say, and placed it on the target flawlessly, as though they have a hundred times. Definitely had concerns, but I felt confident just watching how fast the ability of that vessel to balance itself. This was not these guys' first rodeo. They were very, very experienced in what they were doing. It was a day of firsts. Pack Arctic Logistics, one of the port's new lessees, was the terminal operator at Port Mackenzie for the first time, offloading the ship. Because of demand, the logistics company already offers scheduled service before it's had a chance to plant its company sign. I absolutely think the port's going to take off. We have a lot invested in this. We're bringing, uh, you know, dependable equipment in here to, to get set up right for the port. And I think that if we do that, I think that that'll open up opportunities for other people. And it certainly was the first heavy lift of its kind. But more firsts continue as young Port Mackenzie gets strong legs under it. Two other ships tied up in May. Off came a crane, capable of lifting 220 tons. The crane, leased by Pack Arctic Logistics, will remain at Port Mackenzie, creating tremendous opportunity. The new crane went to work, offloading 60 loads of logs from Spruce Island near Kodiak. Point McKenzie is a, is a new port, it's a young port. We have a lot of capacity for doing special projects. We have the room to lay things down. And this is what made it right for Valley Sawmill. It means we're putting people together, we're growing our business, we're just moving. The third vessel offloaded five scrapers, heavy equipment that has already gone to work building rail embankments for the coming Port McKenzie Rail Extension. The 32-mile rail link from the Alaska Railroad to Tidewater will help diversify Alaska's economy with mineral exports and potentially a cement industry. With each vessel, Port Mackenzie is doing exactly what it was designed to do, handle bulk cargo and heavy industrial loads as it carves out its place as South Central Alaska's future industrial center.